Well, it feels like we've been doing setup for this dialog system for forever. So in this video, it's time we finally got some dialogue showing up in game. We won't get to the actor portrait and name just yet. We're gonna keep this tutorial short and snappy, but by the end, you will be able to make your way through elements of dialogue and actually have some in-game conversations. All right, let's get started. Now it feels like about a million years ago that we set up our UI to get some text boxes into our game. It's gonna be really nice to finally fill those with some actual text. So to get started, let's head into our scripts folder and open up the Advanced Dialog Manager. Now we're gonna get started up at the top here where we're gonna make some user interface references. Now before we do any of that, let's just head right up to the top and add the UnityEngine.UI namespace so that we can access user interface elements. We'll then make a private game object called Dialog Canvas. This will be what allows us to turn on and off the canvas when a conversation's happening. Next, we'll make a private TextMess Pro text reference to the actor. This will be to display our actor name, and you'll notice it's not liking that. So we're just gonna right click, go to Quick Actions, and using TM Pro, and that'll add the namespace up at the top. Next up, we'll make a private image called Portrait, which will get that image component and show our player portrait. And finally, one more TextMesh Pro reference, and this will be to the dialogue text itself. Now that we've made those references, we just need to tell our script where to find them. So we'll head down to our start method, where we'll just let it know that the dialog canvas is equal to, and here we're gonna do a game object dot find search. I've called my canvas dialog canvas, so I'll type that in. The actor text will be equal to game object find. We called this actor text in the tutorial, but on the game object, we also need to find the component text mesh pro text. Next, we'll do our portrait, which will be yet another game object dot find. If you followed my naming conventions, this one will be called portrait, and we'll have to get the image component on there. And finally, we'll do one more game object dot find for our dialog text, and this one was called dialog text. We'll also need to get the component of text mesh pro text for this one too. Now that we're able to talk to our user interface, it's time to actually pass that information along. We'll do that by heading up top first. We're gonna make a private bool called dialog activated, which will just allow our script to know when to display or not display text. We'll then head down to our initiate dialog method where we're going to set dialog activated equals true. We'll also tell our dialog canvas that it needs to be turned on, so we'll put set active true. We can then just copy those two functions and paste them down in our turn off dialog. And yes, we can replace that debug log. And now we're just going to make it so that dialog activated is false and our canvas is turned off when the conversation ends. While we're here, we'll head up to the start method and we'll add a dialog canvas dot set active false so that we turn off all of the canvases when the scene starts. Now that we've got all of that done, we're ready to actually start making the information appear when we talk to an NPC. So in our update method, we're gonna do an if statement. We wanna to check to see if dialog activated is true and if we are pushing the interact button or whatever you've chosen to call your button for talking. Now there's two things that we'll wanna do here. The first is to cancel dialogue if there's no dialogue lines remaining. So to know when our conversation's ended, we're just gonna to check to see if the step number of the conversation we're currently at is greater than or equal to the number of actors stored in the current conversation. So if three actors are supposed to talk and we've run out of actors to talk, and we are on step four, it will know that the conversation's over and we'll turn off dialogue. The other thing we wanna do here is continue dialogue if there's still conversation to be had. So we'll use an else statement here. And now we'll just tell it that the text mesh pro in our dialogue text, so dialogue text dot text, is equal to our current conversation. And we'll go into dialogue and we'll use the step number we're currently at. So either starting with zero and then working its way up through the different elements of dialogue. Just a quick reminder that your NPC should have the dialogue handler object on them, and they should have some conversation loaded in their NPC dialogue script. At this point now, when you walk up to them, the text box should automatically appear, and you can push a button in order to make text appear, but there's a few problems. One, we didn't want that text box to appear before we pressed a button, and two, it's not scrolling through the other lines of dialogue. So we've still got some work to do. So the first thing we're gonna fix here is the fact that we don't want that dialog box to appear until we push the button. So let's head down to our initiate dialog method, and we're just gonna grab that dialog canvas, set active true. I'm just gonna cut that out of there, pop back up to our update, and we'll actually put it here in this else statement. Now we're gonna have to add brackets to our else statement now, since we've got multiple things going on there. 
And so we want the dialog text to get updated and then the canvas to be turned on. One other little change that I want to make while we're here is that after we've played the dialog, we want to let our step num know that it needs to add one more to it so that we keep moving through the conversation. Although there's still lots to do, we've now got some base dialog functionality. If you head over here into your NPC dialog and you see that first conversation, if I click on that, you'll notice that there's two lines of conversation here as well as two actors. I'm just gonna add a branch. Now when I go to talk to my NPC, I can push the interact key to go through the dialog, but it's not sure what to do with the branch and it gets hung up. If I delete that branch, however, I can then press interact to continue to go through and end the conversation. Now I can walk away from the NPC, come back and have the conversation over again. Next video, we'll get portraits and names showing up, but until that time, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.